Okay, I got the flash mode on. Let's see what it does. Well, right now it's daylight, so I'm not sure not. It's probably not gonna do that much, so. Let's see how the flight reflects. It's not bad, huh? I mean, that's with a little daylight, and it's still pretty bright out here. I don't even know why I said on flash mode. But for some reason, my um, my scooter keeps dying. I mean, my, not my scooter, my um, battery, or whatever the case may be, because it's hot. But right now, it feels like a good, probably like 65 degrees. It's nice and breezy out here. It's perfect cool weather. Now, there's no sunshine in sight. You know what I mean? <laughs> the sun would probably rise right here. But I don't see it all whatsoever, so... I'm not sure why my camera died prematurely. All right, so we're going back again to start. Oh, I forgot to mention also, um, here it goes. I tried to put my little wheel cover here. I mean, I don't know how it's gonna really gonna ride. There's not really anything to hold the front part of it. The only thing that's holding it is these two seat side beams right here, right? Little wedge right here. You can see here, I think it is touching a little bit of the side tire. So I think, you know what? It might be a slight, see? I'm, I'm kind of wobbling in. See that? It might touch just a little bit. Not even touch, really. It might be hovering a little bit. But you know the scooter vibrates, right? So, and over here, you know, on this side's fine. I actually had to cut it. So I took my little, what they call that little saw hole again. I did it right here and just cut it. I kind of went through here so I can use that as a reference to come all the way up here. And I think it was perfect because if I was to cut any more here, it will put pressure, it will put pressure loosely on here. This thing will come out more. And what will happen if this thing comes out more, the pressure on this guy here is perfect. You see here? I don't know. Oh, he is kind of touching. Oh, yeah. He's touching. I think he is. Oh, yeah. He's touching it. All right. <laughs> yeah. That might not work. Oh, that might not work. If I go lower, he won't touch. Try again to go lower, right? Or no, maybe higher. We'll see. I mean, I'm going to ride with it rubbing a little bit. But it's a little scary, though. We'll see if it works or not. So... That one's touching. It was yesterday. It wasn't touching. Now, it, like I said again, if I had cut that guy just a little bit more, he would make this guy be able to go forward this way, right? Which that means this guy right here for sure will start touching. Right now, he's not touching. If I push it down more, it shouldn't touch, right? So that guy's not touching. I'm not worried about him, but this guy here I'm worried about because he seems like he's touching. I couldn't figure out a way to be able. I can. I try and use a screw here to be able to lift this guy, maybe open it a little bit. See if I pull this guy just a little slight, just pull him by a millimeter. If I pull him just by a millimeter, he's gonna go in. If I pull him by a millimeter, thank you. <laughs> I'll be back. Don't worry. Oh, you got back it for me? All right, they always do. All right, so anyway, if I, if I pull him by a millimeter, then he's going to take away from this guy here. Watch, I'll pull it right now, just example. You can see here my dilemma here. See that? If I pull it, you see that? See that guy? See how he's hugging? There you go. See that? He's hugging that tire more, so he's going to be hugging this guy right here. He's going to be hugging right here. So, it's either way. I mean, I'll try to drive it like this and see what happens. Um, I recommend not to have anything really rub your wheel, to be honest with you, but it just seems like it's hoovering. Now, I could cut that hole there as well. Maybe I could do that. Why do I do that? No? Okay, I want to do that. I'll cut the hole just like this guy right here. It's going to look unfashionable, but hey, it works, right? So, if I can cut that hole out, which I'm probably not going to be able to use anymore. I had to cut this hole because he wouldn't let the spring sit in. He was like pushed against the spring and he made this guy more flap more. So what I'll do, if that guy is in the way, I'm gonna cut a hole just like this right here. I'll try to do a little pattern, maybe a nice half circle right here. I right? cut them all out. I think if I cut this guy all out, actually, you know what? I probably only have to cut that lip part of him. See that little lip? I think that's it. So if I can remove that whole piece of lip out there, I think we should be okay. I think, I don't know. Uh, I hope that not cause any more damage. And again, the only thing that's holding these guys here from falling all the way down is this guy right here, right? And I think with the dr driving, I mean, I can lift up like this supposedly. No, I can't. So I think it's stationed already. You know, it's kind of clamped in here. I'm thinking the wind and the friction. I mean, what's the worst that can really happen, right? If you drive really fast, what's it going to do? Because the wheel turns this way, right? Counterclockwise. So he's going to what? Rub this guy in more like like this, maybe the most. You know, and that's it. He's not going to give in anymore. This guy's not going to give in to going anywhere else. And this tire here is not going to give in. 
So it's not like it's gonna like, you know, it's gonna take a sharp turn or anything. If anything, he'll probably, <laughs> who knows, he might actually just trim that plastic for me <laughs> or he might wear out my tire a bit quicker, whichever one first, right? But I think he's probably gonna wear out the plastic as well. So I think it'll be fine. The reason why I wanna put this here is to be able to protect the cover again. See the very top here gets all muddy and everything. It's like a splash guard for your rear wheel. So I think I dig it. I'm not sure if it's raining yet. I really want to rain because I really want to test out our cover in full swing. All right, so anyway. Uh, uh, let's do this. Let's find out what RPM, why we have, what wire we need to shake and why. So we know that our RPM is not working because of whatever reason. And let's go and start the scooter up again. Okay, it starts really easily when it's, you know, nice, well, uh, just nice warm weather like this not too cold not too hot so this 31 right now the battery you can see there 31.1 31.2 counting okay let's see how it shakes and see if this thing rubs I'm sure it's vibrating it's rubbing a little bit Worst kind of worst, if we ever need to, just to make sure we don't get caught in that wheel, we'll cut that little inside lip somewhat, right? Right here. We'll cut that guy out so he's not rubbing on a tire for sure. Because I know he is rubbing on a tire. I can feel this vent ventilation from the stator flying the wind, blowing this, and hopefully sucking the air from here. That's a good thing for us. I do plan to install the decompression tube back. We'll see how that goes. We'll see how this guy drives with this guy on there. I'll take a little slowly around the block and see if he's creating a problem rubbing or so forth. If he is, then my solution would be just to cut, you know, that lip off, like something like this, but just, no, not that dramatic. We want most of the, you know, the, <laughs> the, the whatever it's picking up with the dirt here when it swings over to be able to capture it before it goes into our air filter. That's the idea of capturing that. So hopefully it'll work. You can see here, we don't want to really cut anymore because this guy right here is the one that's blocking it and he's not doing much of a shield there. You see that the, the rim there is almost exposed right here already, right? So, but we want to make sure if it does carry forward, it'll capture most of the gunk right here. So that's what we're aiming for. You can see here how this guy, see all that little vibration there? Well, you can't see it because the scooter doesn't pick up on, or the camera, I mean camera doesn't pick up so I'm gonna turn it off I'm not trying to add vibration to it yet so but so far I'm happy I mean the mirrors are stable and thank God oh, that was a doozy oh that little scrape here was probably from my my sort of like I, I had to get a little thing there to wrap it up with so it wasn't too bad all right so let's go back to where we objectively were trying to do okay this guy's out right and we'll see if the RPM is still working. Let's see if that guy's the one that actually connects the RPM. Let's do it, one, two, three. Okay, so we see our fuel is empty, which is correct. Uh, we don't see the RPM working. I'm gonna try to jiggle the wires. See if we get the RPM working. Nope, all I'm getting is a bad battery reading. See that? Battery. So we know this, this, even this wire has a little issue here. So let's find out what the issue is with this guy. Let's just examine him where he's at right now. I don't think this wire harness is bad because if you look at it, I don't see any lights flickering. It's only flickering when I pull it down enough to move this other wire on top here. This is probably the most sensitive wire here. There's a short wire here somewhere. I can't tell which one it is yet. All right, so. Oh, our RPM is working now. And again, I guess this guy here is not really controlling our RPM. So this is for something else. This is probably for all the lights, I believe. So we plug this in, we might see all these lights here. Let's see if I hit the signal, we see the lights, see? Oh, I do see lights still, see? So that's not controlling the lights. Okay, let's just see if it controls the brake. Okay, I don't see any brakes coming on. I'm hitting the brakes. So I don't see no brake lights. So it's controlling some of the lights, the brake lights and what have you. Let's see about the horn. Horns always work regardless. 
Okay, the RPM gauge is working. If I rev my scooter up. Gotta do it slowly. There we go. All right, so that's good. That's so this is this wire here. We figured it out. This is the wire here that's gonna be the problem to both our pretty much This is pretty much the wire here that pretty much controls our RPM as well as our lights flickering. You can see here, look at the lights, I just tapped it. See that? Tapping it, look at him, I'm tapping it, look at this guy. It goes crazy, right? Look at the lights there, flickering. So this right here has an intermittent issue somewhere. So that's it, that's our trouble. So now we narrow it down to this bushel harness right here. Now it's time for us to take a look at what the connection looks like, why it's causing that. So maybe process of elimination. We can take out some wires that are not going to be affected uh, with the RPM, like the signal lights. And when we take those out, we'll see if it's still jittery. Uh, but I think the signal wires are kind of intermittently connected too. So because these wires were flickering, right? More than likely, it might be a connection on those guys. So let's check them out, shall we? I think he's going to make a U-turn, so he's going to hand me some stuff. So let's check it out. There he is. <laughs> Post office. Or is he? Oh, he's got another stop. He's down the road. If he wanted to come. Oh, he actually is coming over here. There he is, all the way over there in the corner there. We kind of know each other. He actually rides a scooter, too, to work. His co-worker says, yeah, that guy brings a scooter to work. I said, that's a smart man. <sighs> Looks like it's going to rain. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, don't worry about it. I got it. Oh my god. Is it heavy really? Yeah. Well. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what? They sent me a chain and they forgot to give me the combination to it. A lock. Oh yeah? <laughs> like, <laughs> go figure, right? They gave me one of these, but they, it wanted the combination locks. Well maybe they figured it's zero 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 one one one. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna waste my time. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. Huh. Oh, okay. This is actually not for me. It's probably for my sister. There we go. Some good stuff there. So she's gonna be happy. Hello, Paul. Mala. Nick. One, two. Here you go, mom. Mom. Mom, you cry in it. Last time she sent something over, it smelled like anchovies. So we'll find out. <laughs> OMC, what? Oh, you're hip, huh? All right. Wow. Anyway, it just feels like it's gonna rain, honestly. But it's not, so. All right, let's check this out. What's going on here? Huh. Let's go. Let's check out, look at this wire harness. This wire harness controls our RPM, our signal lights and everything. If we take it out, none of this stuff works on our gauge cluster, of course. I don't think they will. I'll be surprised if it still does. Let me try to click this one on only. See what it does. And we'll figure this guy out ourselves. I know this is a new wire harness here because it's a new gauge cluster. So it has to be from our end that we did something here, right? That's causing the intermittent issue. If that's the case, it should be a quick fix. I think it is. We can probably take this guy off and use our T-clamp. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. Look at that black wire. Look how funky it is. You guys see it? This might be our issue is the ground. Look at that. Look at that. You see that black wire? I bet you, if anything, that black wire is the cause of all our problems right there. Look at that. See that? Look, he's peeled off right there in that corner. Damn it. All right. We'll fix him. That's an easy, quick fix. Okay. So, you can see here, we turn everything on. Gauge cluster is completely dead still, even with this one harness only. But we'll go for it. Engine's on. Light's not on. Only the running lights. I'm sure the signal light's not going to be on. 
nope, nothing. Nothing's working. The honk will work, of course. But the brake light's not coming on either. Okay, so a majority of our wire right here has to do with this probably bad ground. I bet you, if anything, let's take out this bad ground now. Okay, the key's out. Now that we found a problem, we can look at a, a solution. This is great. Who would guess it was a bad ground? So let's go and fish this black ground out. I'll show you right now how open it is looking. Okay. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Look at this. These guys see that? But he's still pretty tight though. You know what I mean? He's still good looking. Ah, uh, see that? He's still connected. He's just, I don't know why they didn't complete the, the crimping part. This is originally from the scooter. Why would they have this there? Did we do something to it maybe earlier? We poke a probe to it? But I don't think the probe would do that much damage. Because if that was the case, we can check our pink wire here and our gray wire because we did the same thing to that. Those guys, let's see if they actually uh, strip apart. See, those guys still stayed intact. You guys see that? See? They didn't have any problem. So, why is our black wire here having its problems? So this guy, black wire here, goes to the very bottom of this guy right here. It's a green color here from the harness. I think it is, let's see. Let's make sure, double check. Black wire was coming up from here, this corner. Huh? That's interesting. That's interesting. It looks like it's not even used. Or it is, it is, I'm sorry. The black wire does match the black wire of this harness here. Forgot he came from the top, not the bottom lower. So he's from the top. And then there's a black wire here, right? So that's fine there. All right, let's just pinch this guy nicely back, shall we? I don't think he's gonna be probably just it. So we'll find out which one it is. It's Edie, Meanie, Mighty Mo. Worst gonna worst, we'll, we'll take back our soldering uh, connection there that we might have maybe started it <laughs> and put the T connector, which is a little bit more solid. But let's fix this ground. Uh, let's fix this little crimper guy back into where he should have been. There we go. Trying to fold him in the way he would have been. Oh man. Supposed to dig. Supposed to dig. There we go. Let me go ahead and let it dig again. All right, there we go. All right, there's my dad. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Donut. <whistles> A pinch guy, you know. Ma, ma, ma. Pop here, after I do a social anchor, well, me. Joma? My? By the way, nah. My mouth. Okay. My poor tray, son, eh? My poor tray, Paul, there. I didn't have my luck on that. You take care of yourself. My way, you know. My way, eh? Bye. Bye, pause the fall. Bye. 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 My my sa. All right, Dad. Ba. Uh, ba. The black dog ran away. That guy just went. Poof. He'll come back. Oh, there he is. Look, how do you? What the? How did he get behind the gate? I thought we got him. I thought he broke free out here. Oh, brother. <laughs> I knew he was too big to get out of on his own. 
he couldn't fit through these gates. That's the problem with him. All right. Try and find a short, Dad. We're short. What? We're, we're intermittent. Yeah. Uh, we're kind of side. We are gates. We are guys. Now we are with clay, a wire. Bye, Dave. Bye. Bye, Jordan. Bye, Jordan. Bye, Tui. Bye. Yeah, Sky took them with mouth. Just tell my dad if he goes back there, make sure he closes the door because that little rascal always wants to come out. Speaking of which, you see another one there? <laughs> little Spidey! Alright, so here we go. We're going to go and plug this black one back in. First of all, we're going to give him a good hook and a left and uppercut. Oh man, we really, really smashed him in there. All right, we can still get him out. Nah, oh, I to cry. Ah, but to cry, my, my jungle, To cry, eh, na ba? You mad? Let's see this. All right. I think he'll be fine. He'll create a little bit. Oh, yeah. This thing is just so small. I can't get my um, plier. This kind of plier ain't going to grip it because it's so, so fine aluminum. Then... All right, so I kind of get it wedged out a little bit. So now it's time for insertion back. And we'll find out what else could be a problem too. But let's put this guy back in here, shall we? He was like in the first slide, I believe. Yeah. Uh, we are ping. Mm -hmm. Tell my dad's might be intermittent wire issue, but I think it should be fine. That's mm all the winger. But I ain't done. Let my dad fire it up. Okay. Oh, am I in the right way? Yeah, I am. This is the way it should hook. Oh, there we go. Hook we wing. Uh, it doesn't look that attractive, but. There we go. Two I A K P Piao Mai. Two I Chop P Massachusetts. By Mer, Paul Mian. I'm a whole Oh yeah. Whoa, that was a big loss. Yeah. Mel Man Piao Mai Mai. Kaka Kamo Piao Tai. All right. So we got back in there. Let's see if the intermittent issue still exists. Look at that. Our battery's working, but our uh, RPM of course is not working because it's not. Oh shit, RPM working right off the bat. Uh, but it doesn't mean anything really, right? Because the minute we jiggle it away or do something different, let's see if it still has a problem. Holy shit! Look! I'm jiggling it! I'm getting jiggy wiggy! I'm getting jiggy wiggy! I'm getting jiggy wiggy! <laughs> we fixed it! Ba! Hi, hi! RPM's gonna constantly work now, you guys. That was it. That was just a bad ground. What a son of a gun, right? Look at this. Look at that. Holy smoke. That was an easy fix. Look at this. I'm tapping it, you guys. Look, I'm constantly, I'm smacking it. Puya, 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 puya. Oh, 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 oh. I saw it flickering a little bit. All right. All right, cool, cool, cool. Let's do this again. And I'm a little too confident there. RPM is still going up. Nice. There we go. Kill switch on. I don't want to turn the kill switch on. We'll just turn the key off. Actually, no, let's do the kill switch off. Okay, let's start it again. Fire it up. RPM works every single time. And the battery works every single time. So that was it. That was our problem, you guys. That was the RPM um, 
issue with also the intermittent. All right, wait a minute. Where's this light go? Oh, let's hit the signal. Hit the turn signal, shall we? Nice. Make sure everything's working. Super. There we go. That was it. That was how we fixed our alarm. Cool. Brakes, nice. Switch, RPM constantly working. I'm pretty confident, you guys. I think we solved it. That wasn't hard, really. What? We flexed a few metal connectors together, plugged it back in, and all of a sudden it's stable. Oh, got it, I'll show you. Ready? Uh, we kind of uh, wire with the Joel Joe us all. There you go, watch. The last time the RPM, we got it. Here we go. Make sure this is on position. Hold brake. One, two. Flat. Does it sound good? Do you think it's okay now? Uh, tuning? Yeah, yeah. You got carburetor to my. I think you got clunk in. So, yo. Does it sound good or no? Okay, here goes the rip. By man, see before the RPM we are got it, we talk we are the stock side look out by man. See? Okay, we got it. So the RPM is working out. I was telling my dad. He's just enjoying bananas. Like, okay, whatever. <laughs> see? By man, new engine, five mile. Does it buy five mile? You play any tomahi? Ah, no, I need gauge cluster tomahi. You plug we are not me a jah da jah we buy born. But I'm probably I need my son to my. I told my dad I put a new odometer reading because it's actually a new engine. So yeah, everything working now, good. You that front panel higher. You kind of clog. He's feeding top of a Dana. That's how gangster he is. Okay, <laughs> uh, that's good. Come on with you, Apple. But you're not in here. Hey, you're my protect here. Hey, you're kind of white side here. We're doing we're we we are good. With your chart, with the ground, the we the we below that. I love it, mate. So that was it. No problem at all. Done. Fixed. Buy my horn. What are you on me, mother? Don't do. Don't do. You're going to do it for that. Yeah, this is a yo, a clang. Oh, buy it like this, ba. This is sister. There you go. That one. But so she can't get on the line. I try on. I just don't care about old matik, da. Oh, it's nice. Bye, bye, bye. Nay, mate. That's why. That's why. Bye, bye, Jolana. Bye, bye. All right. This is full service here. <laughs> Letting my folks out. I guess we're a big fan of Rev4, huh? Ah, don't see the crowd win. Okay, don't, huh? Oh, I'm told that, huh? Ma. I'm going to go to the house. 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 So my to pee, I don't need it. Don't pee. Doctor talk about to pee. I was just telling, don't chew that tobacco stuff. I think they're old school, so that's what they do, guys. Should pull them over. <laughs> nice. So that was a quick fix, man. That was the most easiest fix I ever did troubleshooting. I guess I got lucky. You know what's funny? There was a ladybug that landed right here. Not to be superstitious. And it just winked at me. It gave me a little, I got gotcha. you. So it worked. Ladybug helped me out. He got rid of my RPM issue. Uh, when APM wasn't there. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> like what? <laughs> I just thought I'd throw that in there because it rhymes. APM, RPM. So yes, one down. Actually, that was it. I think we're ready to button the front. And I think we're going to call it it. We're going to start enjoying the scooter now. So all else has fell. So let's do this. First things first, let's just wait for one more day just before we really button it out because I want to be definitely for sure that is the only problem we have. I'm not sure what else we need to troubleshoot. We couldn't get the remote start to work, unfortunately. Intermittent or not intermittent, it just didn't work. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the harness here. You know what? Let's go for a drive. Let's stop in this, right? Let's do this. 
I'm gonna go ahead and button this guy up. Let's go for a little quick round the block. We'll bring our helmet, of course, and go ahead. Can we go for a drive? I mean, the mirror's okay. I think it's okay, right? It's been like 24 hours already. We're not pushing it or anything like that. I mean, I know vibration helps to move things around, but 24 hours already, I think it should be fine. Okay, let's go ahead and seal this bushel of wires again up. Yeah, I was gonna remove our soldering work and everything. I'm thinking, damn. But just that little bit, huh? The ground wire, damn. The ground wire did that to us. Just a stupid ground wire, black wire, negative. Well, that would be very important, black power battery. Okay, let's just put everything away. Let's tidy up, making sure nothing will get in the way when we're driving. I'm gonna put back my Arthur Spine belt because it actually works great as a, as a pretty much a phone holder and whatever else could come up from it. So, that was cool. I think my dad wasn't really confident in my tuning yet. He's probably thinking, I heard better. So <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if we need to keep on keeping on. And I really appreciate you guys' advice on the tuning part too. I mean, um, if you guys definitely could share some more knowledge, I'm more than happy to implement them as long as they're logical. Uh, but or even you know beyond me just let me know the reason i'll definitely try it so let's do this oh yeah i can't wait i'm more excited about going for the ride than um that's why i'm packing away all right let's bring our helmet our little toe helmet this does the trick okay let me get my strap on <laughs> my strap on like my oh it's funny because I thought I saw I saw a mixture of white and black car and I put two together in my figure. But your mind plays tricks on you. You almost felt like you're actually <laughs> seeing a cop's car. I was imagining this and I looked at this real quickly and I put it together like a patrol car right there. That was weird. Okay, so let me come right back. And let me go and get my gears real quick here. I just got to bring my ortho spine belt back. All right, got my belt. Got my shoes. I'm going to drop it like it's hot in a second here. Oh, I'm so freaking happy. Got that stuff working. So, uh, just in case my toe hits the pavement, open sandal is not going to help protect me. I do have some um, motorcycle shoes too. A little bit more heavier duty than these guys here. But for the meantime, I think we're just going for... A, oh, keep in mind though, we had that other... Remember again, the shield guard, the wheel guard in the back? We're gonna keep monitoring that to make sure that we can't really go more than probably 10 miles an hour. Or maybe, uh, let's say, let's push it at 20 of these. Let's see how silly we get. We might even go with 30, but no more than that. This is fun. It's like getting ready for a, I don't know, like a, I don't know, a, a cave diving or something like that, skydiving. That's what I feel like I'm getting ready for. <laughs> Get my belt. Okay, so this is it here. My retro spine belt. Sorry, I was gonna show you how I actually hooked on my helmet, but I didn't get a chance to get my head in the view. So I put it on like this. The strap is one of them that pulls from that little back area. There we go. There we go. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see me now. I actually got my hat underneath it. Oh well. So I put the D-ring here. I'm going, buddy. You can't stop me. <laughs> I'm talking to the <laughs> the box. All right, let's do this. I'm not even put the sh shield guard. There's no need to. And I know I have lights right now on me. Put you guys right here. I'll put you guys right here once I open the gate. Oh, it's nice. Nice day to ride, too. It's a good day to keep your uh, coolness because the temperature is not far out crazy. <clears throat> so here we go. Bring everything. Our mirror. I'm not going to do anything to the mirrors right now because I think they're perfect. They just need to be washed, though. And we'll do that as soon as our, um, what do you call that? Our blue lock, our red Loctite for sure nails it. All right, let me squeeze this guy really in my belly. I've been eating a lot of that shrimp cameroon. It looked like the butter and garlic is catching up to me. And also McDonald's uh, 
strawberry cream pie. <laughs> All right. But other than that, we're good. So let's do this. I don't have, um, what do you call that? I'm gonna rock it forward, okay? One, two, three. Oh, oh. we're not rocking forward enough. All right, there we go. Sorry, 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 sorry. No, you cannot come. All right. So here we go, we're backing out. Let's see if I can do a Yui. Okay, you can check this out. I'm gonna start again. Let's see if the RPM has a problem or anything. Okay, push one, two. Yeah, baby. RPM's working like a charm. Look at that little pussy face. Yeah, he's. Last time he actually broke out, which he's slick enough to do. He chased me around the whole block. Okay, remember again, we gotta pay attention to our little tire cleaner there. We're gonna do it one time around the block, and then we're gonna go inspect the tire guard again, okay? So let's not get, oh shit, it's raining. Holy smoke. Oh, maybe it's just a little miss. I felt like a little wetness to me a little second ago. Interesting. All right. Uh, eventually I'll get my GoPro. You guys can really see what I'm seeing. Because the GoPro is right on my mouthpiece. But in the meantime, let's go and check the look at the block. I think it's okay now. I think uh, my throttle is letting it rest it back again. Okay, let's go. I hear something scraping. I think it's still fine, so we'll, we'll monitor it slowly. I hear it though. I hear it scraping. Let me pull off to the side a little bit. Let's see how bad it is already. That we haven't really, uh, we haven't really went like less than, I don't know. Not even a fraction of a mile. So, let's take a look at it. Not sure if this guy's scraping. But I know this guy's fine. Alright. So that guy's fine. Alright, let's continue on, shall we? Yeah, I was going to tell you, I was going to take you to my favorite Bear Creek route. So let's see if I can do that still. Ready, roll. <sighs> when we hear something crack, then we'll stop. <laughs> so far, so good. Alarm is freaking loud. dog is chasing me yet. I can look at my rear. All right, I love the rear now. Oh, you know what we forgot to close? We forgot to close our Gibby. Let's go and pull back over, shall we? Most pedestrians probably think I'm a cop, so I am, I don't trust this RPM thing really. I mean, I don't trust the throttle. I feel like it's gonna rev without me. Okay, so here we go. We forgot to close this guy. So let's give him a close. There we go. Put that guy in. Let's go and continue on. The journey begins where it started. I should go get some gas. Really, that's what I should do. But I can't do it right now because I'm still away from the police area. So what I do is just... All right. There it goes. Send a kick snap belt back. There we go, you guys. This is gonna be my Bear Creek route, sort of.
tall. We just tell oh, we gotta go back home. You see that cop? He didn't say nothing to us. But I'm not gonna take my chances. So I'm telling him right now we're just gonna turn back around. Probably like, oh I'll wait for that guy over there at the pier. Never mind, too many cops around. He was right there at the four-way stop too. Pushing about 35, or I'm sorry, 30. Again, I'm basically going on my speedometer here, you guys can see it. Whoa, bouncy. Bouncy. I'm going 40. Letting go of the brake lever. Oh, look, the throttle, look. It's not autopilot no more. Maybe it took some time for the cable loop to adjust itself. But so far, so good. All right, it's time to drive back in. There we go. I look like I can control my throttle now, sort of. All right, let's go back in. Like nothing happened. Back to where we were, original theft. Nice, that was fun. <laughs> we saw the cops, we got scared. All right, better <laughs> safe than sorry. So we just added one more mile to it. Look, we're at six. As you can see there, a domino reading. Six, and the seven one's coming up. All right, let's check out the, let's check out RPM again one more time to make sure it's still, I guess when you turn it on, initially the RPM doesn't come on, but when you actually hit the start button on the scooter, that's when your RPM actually kicks on. So let's see, of course, because it makes sense, right? There's nothing to read. So the spark plug is firing, the RPM takes off right away. So that's just, that's really awesome. All right, so I think this guy's already cured, to be honest with you. I'm just making the reasoning to make sure that I take my time and nail this front part a little bit more better tomorrow. So nothing got damaged. I have to cut that little uh, uh, harness to, that, um, to the front as well. We picked up our little piece of grass on our way. <laughs> Oh man, that was fun. All right, let's go inspect this guy. He didn't do too bad. See if he did any wear on the tire. That's how we really determine it. I don't see any really. Oh, is this one of them? Yeah, like this. A little bit of the wires, the tire off. Like he's preparing him. Look at that. Um, so, yeah, he's look how he's shaking a little bit of the tire side right here off. <laughs> it's just a little scrape, not a big deal. Not like a serious like scrape scrape, you know? But he is shaving, you can see the little pattern of marking that he put. If that's the worst he did, then that's fine with me. It's not gonna be that bad. He's gonna get to a point where he's not gonna have anything to rest on anymore, I guess. Then he might stop, I don't know. I hate to just, you know, break the hole in it. This one I had to because, you know, with, uh, you know, both sided being a, a high compression spring, I mean, the shocks that we had, we had to make another dip for it to be able to get it, not to push against this guy. So I had to cut the little U-shaped hole. All right, let me put this guy back in the center kickstand because you never want to leave it here on the side too long because you don't know what will give. So push down on the center kickstand. There go. Let it shake back out. That's another thing we have to fix. It's this guy here. We're going to probably consider doing some painting work on him as well. But in the meantime looking good i can't believe the cop didn't really knows that i don't have a freaking front headlight i mean i was in the four-way stop almost with him right you guys didn't probably see it but he was like coming from the next car behind me and i guess he didn't really pay attention like oh, okay it's a scooter uh, i guess the headlight will come on whenever it wants to <laughs> it's not nighttime thank goodness but maybe he saw the side of me like oh maybe he's one of those rookie cops or something so anyway just flabbergasting. Uh, yeah, so I guess I'm not worried about it too much now. So let's go head back. Let's put him in this cover for the rain. I think the rain is going to come tonight, so we can actually test out the cover in this full swing. So let's do this. Let's close this guy up. And I think my battery's about to give up on me for today, or not. And let's go and bring him back in. And then we'll think about tomorrow. 
how we're gonna go ahead and fully put his covers on. We're gonna drive normally because we have our license plate properly registered. Not motorcycle license, but properly registered insurance and everything. And we can get started on checking them out. So I don't feel any raindrops yet, but I think tonight might be a good time.